Hello again, Jungle Explorer here, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the uh, Do All Outdoors Handgun Auto Reset Target. Um, rated from 9mm to 45 caliber. Um, so we've got it here already established. Uh, it's uh, not that hard to put together. You've got two bolts that go here, two bolts that go here. Um, funny thing on these volt bolts though is that uh, 9 16 on this side, half inch on this side. So I'm not sure why they did that. So you'll need a 9 16 inch wrench and a half inch wrench to put these bolt systems together. I'm a little worried about how far these stick out right here. Um, you know, simply because if you hit that, it's going to bend it. Uh, it would be really nice if these bolts were a lot shorter um, so that... Uh, you know there wouldn't be nearly as much as a, a damage risk if you bend that it'd be really hard to get out of there so i may change these these top bolts out these down here hopefully i'm not that bad of a shot and i won't be be hitting them but uh you know so that's one thing i would change here i'd, I'd put the put some shorter bolts more appropriate size bolts they just basically sent four bolts all the same length it's necessary down here but it's not necessary up here um, the plates on this thing are, are pretty thick, uh, I'd say 5 16 inch thick steel, so they seem like they'll handle well. Um, I, they're supposed to flip up like that, I assume, and fall back, and if they don't fall back, I guess you can shoot that. I've never actually used one of these things before, so, um, you know, we're going to see how it works, and that's why I'm doing this review. Obviously, have some little stakes that you hammer in back on the three feet here. So I will get at it and see how this thing performs. I'm going to be using nine millimeter and a 44 special today uh, to test it out. Okay, so for today's test, I'm going to be using a Bursa Thunder Nine, uh, nine millimeter, and a nice Argentina-made uh, pistol. I really like this pistol. It has a good solid, good grips and this ambidextrous decocker on it, so it's real nice. And this sweet Smith & Wesson 44 Special CTG inherited from my grandfather. This is one beautiful, sweet shooting pistol here. Uh, so we'll first start out with the 9mm. Um, you can see the target out there um, that I'll be shooting at. So we've got some full metal jackets in here and start on that. All right. All right. And then we're going to reset it. All right. All right, so that worked pretty good. Uh, doesn't always stay up, but uh, it does flip up there, so go ahead and decock this. All right, so now we're gonna put some of these bad boys in here and give this a try. shot this pistol that much. Whoa! It's got a hair trigger on it. Wow! I'm gonna have to reload and try that again. This thing has got a, a hair trigger on it. I haven't really shot it that much since I inherited it. I need to shoot it some more get used to it but buddy you breathe on that trigger it takes off these are some hand loads came with the pistol so
Whoa, where am I heading on this thing? There we go. Whoa, I am just not very good with this pistol. Well, try that one more time. Got to really stabilize this thing. There we go. Well, I didn't hit it too many times with the 44 Special, but I hit it enough. Let's go over and look at that target. Look down here, no indentation. The plates held together pretty good. I'm obviously not a very good pistol shot, um, but that's why I bought this to, to practice with. Uh, so I could become better, did better with the Bursa Thunder 9. That, that uh, 44 special not used to shooting that that kind of a powerful of a gun but it, it works pretty good um, supposed I guess to to flip up like that and stay but a lot of times it just flipped back over and came back down I guess that just has to do with the power of whatever you're hitting it um, so yeah it seems to work really good it handled that 44 pretty good um, I'm gonna get a little closer shot on it Well, there you have it. Um, go ahead and take them bullets out. So you saw with the nine millimeter and the uh, the 44 special, uh, you know, it worked pretty good. I mean, it wasn't perfect. It hit. Sometimes it bounced back. The reset worked fine on it with the nine millimeter. The 44 special, a little more powerful. Um, hats. The, the plates tend to flip back down, but um, it'll hopefully make, make me a better pistol shooter. And uh, it seems to work pretty good for what it is. I didn't see any damage done to the actual plates, so it held up pretty good. So, anyways, if you've enjoyed this review and you found it helpful, please like, subscribe, and comment.